of March, we set our EMER partners a challenge. We wanted them to come up with a business challenge out of the realm of hybrid work and then build a, build a working prototype that does satisfy the requirements of that identified business challenge and do all of that in just 30 days. Across our entire region, 40 partners and 120 engineers of those 40 partners answered this call and took up the challenge. And you know, there is no competition without a prize. And the prize for this was travel to Cisco Life US, as well as a speaking slot here in the DevNet zone. And today, I'm, I'm really grateful to be joined by the lead engineer from our winner, Thomas from Lutech. And first of all, Thomas, now that you've spoken here at Cisco Live, uh, how are you doing? And could you quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Thomas Guzzoni from Lutech, senior engineer for collaboration and DevNet. And you know, it's uh, an incredible emotion being here with you, Marcel. It's unbelievable. Yeah, throughout the entire week, we've been, you've been so energetic and so nice to work with and on this on this class. So you. I want to know, like, what made you or and, and Lutech participate in this specific, specific event? Because, you know, a hackathon is not something that maybe the normal Cisco partners do. Yeah, uh, well, the, the most important thing that we searched in the hackathon was having fun. Okay, we, we saw the contest and we thought, okay, it's amazing, it's interesting, we will surely have fun, but we can learn something too. Uh, the, first, the first three days of the, of the contest were for training, so I'm a sort of forerunner in my company for DevNet, uh, but my colleagues uh, were very interested also in the training, so we said, okay, why not? Uh, we weren't thinking about winning, but you know, yeah. just having fun at first. You know, it's, it's so important to have these like leaders and these people that out of a passion and, and like from being here with you, you have a true passion for this, like Thank push, you. push for these kinds of kind Thank of things. So can you give us a few ideas and a few like a quick summary of what your solution consisted of? Like what yeah. are you doing? Sure, sure. Uh, well, our solution basically is a guest uh, uh, management suite, uh, which showed um, automate what a physical receptionist uh, would do in a physical environment. So uh, with this basic idea, we developed uh, other features around it, uh, some for wow effect, but you know, the basic idea is guest management suite. And I, I saw you also integrated things like parking management, right? Car yeah. registration, and you, you pulled exactly. in a bunch of different devices, you know, you integrated WebEx, you integrated like our devices suite, and you also integrated non-collaboration solutions like IS exactly, into your Exactly, exactly. Uh, we thought that, um, it was a, a key feature to implement as much Cisco devices as, as possible to um, you know, show how the ecosystem can work together seamlessly. Across, you know, in a multi-architecture Yeah, approach, yeah, we used basically. ICE, we used uh, uh, Meraki cameras, um, WebEx, of course. So we no. tried to pack in as much as possible. The WebEx skill also, uh, which is a relatively, relatively new feature. So, you know, that was the idea. And I think this was what our judges saw, right? And why they gave you the, the, I the hope win, so. right? Like I the hope innovation so. that you, you brought to the table. So what, did, what does that mean for you to be here at, at Cisco Live and to speak in the DevNet zone and to, to travel to the US? I mean, it's something amazing. I'm so excited. Uh, it's the first time for me at Cisco Live. So, you know, it, it already this single thing, it's an incredible emotion. And being here as a speaker for the first, for the first time, no, it's something which can't be explained easily with words. So it's like a dream. I'm living the dream. So you're, you're, you're still waking up every morning, feel like, is that real? Yeah, <laughs> Am yeah. I really here? Yeah. I mean, I can't believe it. That's, it's that's, awesome. That's amazing. And what was your experience being a speaker here at, at, at Cisco Life? And what would your, your pointers be to you know, people going here for the first time, maybe as a partner, speaking in something like the DevNet Zone? Well, um, I didn't receive uh, any, let's say, advice uh, from my colleagues or, you know, here. So I was improvising a little bit, but, uh, you know, I think that the key point is to take it easy, you know, don't, don't get too much pressure on you, just be natural, because uh, this is about people trying to interact and uh, transmit something to other people. Yeah. So, you know, just take it easy. I mean, I, I, it will be good. I mean, I can tell you, if, if, if that presentation you did was improvised, then no, no. that is very, very good. Well, <laughs> well uh, of course, I've prepared it, I've run through it many, many times, but once you are on stage, it's completely, it's a different thing completely. Yeah. Uh, so, 
Uh, at first I was a little bit uh, stiff probably, but once I got into uh, the deck, then, you know, I just thought that being natural was the easiest thing, and I think it went well. All right. So I will leave the final words about this like partnership with WebEx and what you've built here uh, to you. And then thank you very much for, for doing this interview with me. And thank you very much for all the hard work that went into, into your project and being part of this hackathon journey. Thank you. Well, uh, I would say, uh, I would suggest all other partners to participate next year because uh, it's an amazing event. It's an, it's an amazing opportunity. And WebEx, it's a, an amazing product, it's a platform. So uh, it's not a, a product, yes, it's a product per se, but it's a platform. So you can enrich it in many, many ways, in a lot of ways. So try to do it uh, next year. Good luck to all the participants next year. Thank you very much, Thomas. You're welcome.